All right. What is going on, my dudes? We're back here today with another Captain Britain video because I promised I would make this for the people who pulled her and want to know if she's worth ranking and like, you know, generic matchups as well. So we're not going to fight like Winter Soldier because he's freaking boring and nobody cares about Winter Soldier um, and his AI is passive and it sucks, right? So we're going to go for this Deadpool in 6.4.1, right? Um, so we don't even have class advantage here. We're going in with no synergies, no suicides, no boosts, no nothing. Just just Captain Britain here. We're going to look at rank 3. We're going to look at rank 5. Then I'm going to show you her a little bit on a path that you might want to take her on, okay? So... Um, I went over a bit like how she works, right, in my previous Captain Britain video, and that one's, you know, a little more fun than this one. Essentially, how she works is that you use your special one to enter your psionic mode or any special attack, really, but go for the special one, right? And then at that point, your first light attack will put on an exhaustion, your second medium attack will put on a slow debuff, and your heavy attack will put on a weakness. Now, when those get purified, I'll show you in a second. All right, I'll show you what happens. We'll talk about it while it's happening. It's like a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a guide along here. Okay, so there's the exhaustion. Here comes the slow, and now we got to get the weakness, heavy into the special, and look at that. Fury from the weakness, cruelty from the exhaustion, and unstoppable from the slow. Now we're out of Sonic mode, but we have our energize. Okay, and we're gaining prowess every time a debuff is purified. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. We're gonna repeat this process, all right? Now you can do one of two things. You can build up to a special two and you can have these buffs, these big furies and the cruelties and all the prowess and you can kill them off with a special two for sure here. Or you can just stay in the rhythm of the fight, keep going for the special ones, right? And that's really fine. As you can see, the damage is continually ramping up as the fight goes along. The Energize is really nice for spamming those special attacks you know, so we're keeping those furies and those cruelties pretty much. We think we pause it for, I believe, four seconds whenever we use a special attack, which is definitely nice. And as you can see, man, it's just it's pretty simple. You go in and you just spam your special attacks. Now, I'll show you what like going to the special two looks like when we go for the five star here. So same thing, right? You start out by essentially getting to the special one. That's always your first stop. Now you can also go for the special three. The special three, it allows you to, you know, build up prowess a little bit, you know, faster or easier, right? And it also like puts you in psionic mode too. But at the end of the day, I just feel like it's more beneficial just to spam the special one and keep them in the, in the corner and just like put the energize that allows you to go a little bit faster, right? So yeah, I feel like this is the optimal rotation for her as you're playing her, right? In just about almost any scenario. I don't love going for the special three more often than not, um, but I do like going for the special two. The special two is very nice and it's very beefy. This unstoppable is also very, very good for her, right? Of course, you know, we uh, we ate a hit there, so our damage is a little bit, our health is a little bit lower, but that's all right because it's damage showcase, right? And her the bulwarks on her sig ability are very nice for me getting block damage too. So here, we're going to enter Sonic mode one more time. We're gonna place the debuffs and we're gonna go for a special two, okay? As you can see, that Energize is super duper clutch here. We're gonna go for a big special two right over here. 12 prowess, four furies. Of course, we didn't crit on those two or else he would have been dead, right? But yeah, as you can see, the prowess, they keep stacking up to 12. Now we have, we have four furies still, we have four cruelties. She doesn't really crit when she's not, you know, um, on her basic attacks. So yeah, she's definitely decent. She's okay in generic matchups, but she's really fun against like tenacity. So this is like tenacity in 6.4.6. It's a lane with just tenacity on it. So let's see, like, you know, let's say there you're, you're doing, um, I don't know, a story quest that has tenacity, right? She could be a very decent option for you, especially if you don't have any of those mutants who deal with tenacity very nicely, okay? So let's say you get Captain Britain as one of your first six stars. Let's say you're watching this video in like 2023. Captain Britain is one of your first six stars and you have a tenacity lane. You're like, Jesus Christ, bro. I don't know what to freaking do for tenacity. 
Well, guess what, man? She can be decent for it. And as you can see, right, we're just building up those prowess. And in psionic mode, we have that passive burst damage too that's consistently there. And we're just going for the special one rotation, man. And as we move along, right, they're shrugging off the debuffs naturally because of tenacity, which is really great for her ability. She punishes skill champions like that. And also whenever there's any additional tenacity on the lane too, she punishes it very nicely. So I think she's designed well in punishing the skill class. I do think her damage is a little bit on the lower side, especially for the mutant class. However, what she's meant to do, I do think that she does well, okay? She also, you know, has an argument for stuff like can't stop, won't stop with her unstoppable, stuff like buffed up with all her buffs, stuff like diss track with all her debuffs right? A uh, special connoisseur because she has prowess, but a lot of mutants have prowess, right? Um, she has like uh, the exhaustion, very easy exhaustion. You can counter Sasquatch, something like that, right? She definitely has some uses. And as you can see, this was a 6.4 fight, right? And she did very, very well here. Ended the fight at 98% health, went in one time, one and done, one try and done, right? And it worked really well. So she's simple to play, she's easy to play, and if you take her somewhere where she's meant to be played, the payoff is pretty decent, all right? And once you're ramped up, you're ramped up for the rest of the fight. So if this Phoenix had like 2 million health, for example, right? We could have doubled the ramp up that we have on Captain Britain, chain very, very big special twos, right? Over and over until she dies. So like I said in the previous video, I feel like at some point in the future, we're gonna see another big tenacity matchup and Captain Britain is gonna be pretty decent for. Her. But right now I like her for like those niche skill matchups, big fan of her versus Kingpin, right? Uh, Asian Venom, stuff like that, Daredevil Hell's Kitchen. I, I like her a lot for those kind of like, not super hard, but like annoying defenders where they shrug your stuff, like you're gonna benefit from it, which I think is pretty cool. All right, that's going to be it for this quick little damage and rotation showcase. You don't have to follow this rotation, you know, bit for bit, right? Going for like, you know, all the debuffs and special one spam and everything. You can mix up your special attacks. You can go for the special three if you want. I just find that the general rule, right, when you're using her in like a basic matchup is just enter psionic mode any way that you want. Get your three debuffs on and remove them with the special attack. It's the easiest way to go about it. And you can mix and match the special attacks if you want. I think special one spam is the way to go because of the energize, right? But that's it for this one. If you enjoyed it, drop your boy a big old like. Comment what you think about Captain Britain in the comment section below. Make sure you check out the other Captain Britain video that was uploaded this morning that goes more in depth with her versus the skill class and shruggers in general. And I'll be seeing you around.